שלום שלום עליכם, שלום לכם וברכים בואכם which roughly translates as welcome welcome peace be upon you and blessed is your coming okay now we'll be returning to our lessons from Moré Ivrit HaShalem um, for those of you who do not have the PDF I will of course put that in the description box um, for those who have not watch any videos or who are new um, I advise you to look at the previous videos when it comes to the lessons um, going forward okay so let's get started this is lesson 8 okay and it states a proper noun does not take the definite article nor the plural sign and when it's modified by an adjective, the article is placed before that word as David Hakkaton, right? The little David, or David Hakkaton, okay? Roughly, that's little David, okay? But in Hebrew, it is David, the little one. If, however, the adjective is used as a predicate, it is without the article as David Katan or David um, Katon, right? So notice heha yadi a. Remember heha yadi a means the definite article, okay? And that definite article is the he, the. So without this, you have David is small, and then you have David hakaton or hakatan, small David. So with it, small or um, the adjective describes in a way um let's say sarah great the great sarah okay um the same rule governs an adjective used as a predicate after a common noun which has the article as hamore hacham the teacher is wise now if you put the hayadi a here and this will be let me be a bit more careful Okay, Hamore Hehacham. This is the teacher, the wise one. Okay, so it'll be um, the wise teacher instead of the teacher is wise. Okay, so if you want to say the good book, you say Hasefer Hatov. Okay, Hasefer Hatov. Okay. There we go. Hasifer Hatov. Now, if you want to say the book is good, Hasifer Tov. The Heha Yadia, you take that away, right? When you add the Heha Yadia, it becomes. Hasifer Hatov, which is the good book. When you subtract it, right? When you subtract it from the adjective, here this becomes the book is good. Okay? Hasifer Tov, the book is good. Hasifer Hatov, the good book Lit, um, literally it's the book the good one the let's say the um, cabinet the good one the people the good ones okay it'll always be that way so one adjective modifying several nouns of different genders takes the masculine plural ending. So you have susim farof shehorim. Susim farof shehorim. So sus, you know, well, you'll see soon. This is zahar. I'll write it this way. And this is nekheva. Zahar is um, male and nekheva is female. Then you have this here as again 
Zakhar, okay? Because male takes precedence in Hebrew. So you can have many females and then one male is there, it'll be, uh, the ending will be masculine, okay? Always. Okay, come on. So here is your vocabulary. You can write it this way, Osar Melim, um, or you can write it this way, okay, Melon, which is now used as dictionary instead of vocabulary. But this was uh, different, okay? So, Sus, Susim, you have Zakhar here, and then you have Nekheva here. You have um, singular here, and then you have plural here. Yahid, Rabbim, or, or Rabui. Okay? So you have Rabui, then you have Yahid. So, Sus, Susim, Para, Parof. Remember, with the He, it's most likely feminine. Without it, it's most likely masculine. So this will be par. If it's um, this can mean bull. This is one way of saying it. This is usually used. Okay. So par and shor. Para cow par is bull. Paros many cows. Plural. Okay. Why is this? Okay. Great. Paper, niyar, or parchment. Any um, thing up upon you. Uh, any type of. I can't say paper exactly. But anything in which you write will be niyar. Okay. Deo, I'm not sure if this is Aramaic. I will look it up, I can't remember. Um, but this is used in modern Hebrew. Um, Heather, Hadarim, this is room, rooms. Temuna, Temunoth, this means picture now. Then, in classical Hebrew, Temuna means image much like how Pesel means image now it means um, like a statue okay Temuna these were like like foreign gods now it's used as pictures so we won't use this as pictures we'll just use it as image Okay, now this is a modern Hebrew book, um, but this is like the beginnings of it, when they were now forming um, modern Hebrew. So it's heavily based upon classical Hebrew, then more than it is now. Okay, now it uh, has a lot of Aramaic and um, Arabic and other languages within it. But then, when it was now starting, these this book was used one one of this is one of okay and that is why I use it heavily when I'm um, teaching okay and you'll see later on why this is densely populated with um, the structure of um, classical Hebrew okay so let's get started here did I go to the other no, I didn't. Okay, so Sha'on and Sha'onim, of course. This is watch, clock, more modern. Okay? Po. You know, Po means here. So, Po. Avraham Hatov with Sarah Hatova. Here. Okay. Here. 
Avraham Hatov is good Avraham and Sarah Hatova good Sarah okay without this this is a no-no so to speak okay it always has to agree with the um, preceding word or the noun okay so Sarah since Sarah is Nekeva the adjective Shem Toar or Shem Hatoar has to be um, also Nekeva okay Avraham Zachar Hu and so Shem Hatoar Shem Hatoar has to be um, Zachar also okay so this means what where Sarah Hatova and good um, Sarah is here. Sham Daniel Hehacham with Sarah Hahachamam. Okay. Sham, we know that this means there. Sham. And let me see if I can do this actually. I can increase the. Okay. Great. I'm not sure if you can see. Okay. So, Sham Daniel Hehacham, and then you have Wesara Hachama. Okay, and that means. There is wise or smart Daniel and wise Sarah. Okay. Hamore Razol with Hatalmid Katan. The teacher is great or large. With Hatalmid is a student is small or tiny biblically this will be tiny okay not really now hamore ghazol we had talmid katan next we have haddozim haddozim the uncles remember the yod and the mem indicate that it's plural haddozim the uncles Tovim Ram Hadozov Tovov. They are good. Remember the Yon the Mem has to um, be in it has to show that it's plural as well as the um, noun. So Tovim and it's, this means good. Ram and also Hadozov or this can mean yet okay which is still also but um, in old English had dozos tovos and the aunts remember the wow and the tau in the case that it's feminine so you have dod and then dozos okay tovos and the aunts are good okay so this means the uncles are good and also the aunts are good okay if they had the hey the a here it would be the aunts the good ones so the good aunts okay let's keep going okay has Ki hasakinim hadim, okay? Hasakinim hadim, sakin. You know that that means it's a knife, right? Had means sharp. So remember the yod of the mem has to comply with this for the most part. There are of course times where you'll see um, something like that with certain adjectives, okay? You'll see the wow and the tau. We'll get to that, okay? The knives are sharp. Hasakinim haddim. Okay. Next, 
האתים טובים. האתים, את, you know that's, that's um, pen, or any type of writing utensil, like a um, quill, okay? That's what it was, not an actual pen. Now, yes, then, not so much, okay? Now, let's see. Have been, na'ar tov. We have bath, na'ar tova. The son is a good young boy. Well, this is young boy. Um, but we, let's just stick to boy. Okay, so this is the son is a good boy. Okay, had been had na'ar tov. And Habath, the daughter, Na'aratova, a good girl. Okay? Habin Na'aratova, Habath, Na'aratova. Okay? Let's keep going. Hamitoth. We're up to here. Hamitoth. Remember, Mita. Mita. means bed or um, hmm, uh, something on which you lay upon okay something on which you lay you say metta okay because the another word for it was mishchav okay and I'll get into this later why it's that and things of that nature Okay, a little at a time. So, next. Da, da, da. So, Hamitos Hagezolos Shechoros, we Hamitos Haketanos Levanos. So, it's stating, if you go here, let me try getting this at least like that. Okay. Where am I? Okay, good. So here, Hamitos Hagezolos Shehoros. Let's stop here. So this is stating the beds, the large ones, are black. And the beds, the small ones, are white. Hamitos Hagezolos Shechoros We Hamitos Haketanos Levanos Okay? Notice how they all align The Wow Tau Wow Tau Wow Tau Wow Tau Wow Tau Wow Tau So these are all feminine Okay? Meta is feminine Remember? Meta it ends with an he, right? Or an a, if you wanna say it that way. Next, Hanarim, the boys, Hagezolim, we hachamim haele hachim, lispora haketanao wetova. We'll break this down, okay? Hanarim hagezolim. The large or the big boys and the wise ones are these brothers to Sepora, the small one and good one. So the small good Sepora. Now this gets a bit more complicated in structure, right? So, Hanearim Hagezolim. Let me see if I can. I'll have to. For the sake of this, I'll have to um, zoom out here. Okay, so. Okay, so Hanearim Hagezolim, we Hachamim Haele. 
Ahim le sipura haketana we hatova. So remember, this is an adjective here. Let's understand that, okay? And this is another one with and. So this states the boys, the large or big, okay, and wise, okay. So the large and wise boys and then you have these okay so these large wise boys ahim we know that ah means um brother ahim brothers Two. Now I understand there is no R or is in Hebrew exactly. Um, there's certain times that certain words can represent it, but for the most part, no. So the boys, the large, the wise, the these um, brothers to Sipora. Remember Sipporah? Notice how it's... Names follow a somewhat different order. But notice the Hehayadi'a there. Sipporah. Okay. And Sippor. Sippor means bird. Okay. In Hebrew. So Sipporah. Birds. Well, bird. But... Uh, Anyway, I don't want to get into names. So, le sepora haketana, the small, the good. So, let's see if we can figure this out, right? The boys, the large, the wise, the these, brothers are to sepora, the small, the good. So these large wise boys are brothers to Sipora the small good or the good small um Sipora, okay? This might take some of you a while. Um it's but it's needed, okay? So Hanne Arim Hagezolim Weha Hachamim Ha'ele, modern Hebrew, um, now, at least um, when it comes to conversational, this is not really needed. When it comes to um, written, yes, usually, okay? So, Hanna Arim Haggezolim Weha Hachamim Ha'ele, Ahim Lissipora Haketana Wehat Tova, okay? We'll, I, I'm guessing we'll get more of this. <laughs> okay. Hamore haze zakin wehacham. The teacher, the this. Remember, this means this. This is the. But loose translation, this is, means this. If you're looking for definite translation, um, one to one, this means the this. So the teacher, the this, zachen, zachen means old or elder, okay? Wehacham. Wise or smart. So Hamur Hazze Zachen Wehacham. The teacher is old or elderly and wise, okay? Leshim on. Remember, le means two in Hebrew. Okay, it has other functions as well, but right now this means two. Leshim on dovim zekanim with tovim with doza ketana. Leshim on dovim zekanim with tovim with doza ketana. So, 
Simon or Simeon same people okay Le Shimon Dozim uncles and this is old ones so old and good and then you have an aunt small so this will be like one aunt okay so he has he has so to Simeon or to Simon same people okay um, has so he has old and good uncles and a small aunt okay leshim on dozim zekenim with tovim with ozaketana if you need help Again, I have videos covering this. Um, if anything, you can leave a message in the um, comment section. I will try to get back to you. Okay. Um, next. Aye. Aye. Hasusim wehaparos. Where? Remember, this is one way of saying where in Hebrew. Aye. Hasusim. The horses. And cows. Where are the horses and the cows? Aye hasusim we have paros. Hasusim halevanim po. The horses, the white ones, remember lavan means white. Also, it, it, just a minor point, it was used as to say it was the moon also, okay? Lavan. Um, Levana. Hal Levanim po. So the white horse is here, and there we sham haparos hashachoros, and there are the black cows. Okay. Aye hasusim we hap we haparos hasusim hal Levanim po we sham haparos hashachoros. Right? Let's keep going. I'll do a few more and I'll this time I'll pick something that's a bit difficult. Um So I'm gonna leave this up to you to go through it. Okay, this one. We'll do a few more of this. Le Avraham Hezer Gazol We Le Yahuda Hezer Katan. Now I know this says Lihuda and it's because of this. Okay, I do not pronounce it Yahuda, I pronounce it Yahuda. So this becomes Okay. Let's see if I got this. There we go. So this becomes Le Avraham Hezer Gazol Ul Yahuda Hezer Katan. Sorry about that. Okay. So Le Avraham Hezer Gazol Ul Yahuda Hezer Katan. So this um, loosely means. That one? No, it wasn't. Okay, so this loosely, this is has, but or to, or belonging to, right? The lamed here. So le Avraham, belonging to Avraham, Hezer Gazol, Hezer, Hezer. You know, it's um room, big room, large room, ul Yahuda, and to Yahuda belongs a s the small one. So Avraham has the big one and uh, Yahuda has the small one. Okay? Let's see another one. 
Let me have the Mona Hazos. To whom? To whom? The picture, the this. Remember, zos. You use zos. We'll get into another way of saying this in Hebrew. There are two other ways, um, for masculine and for feminine. Feminine. So to whom, the. Now we're not going to say picture, but image. To whom the, the image, the this. To whom this image. belongs in classical Hebrew there was no such word as belongs um, exactly exactly okay in modern Hebrew there is one okay let me have the monahazos had the monahazos le rivka had tova this image the image the this to Rebecca le Rivka you know that's Rebecca so good it belongs to good Rebecca if I want to say bad Rebecca it will be Ra le Rivka ha Ra le Rivka ha Ra it's to the bad Rebecca okay Now let's keep going. Let me eat Sargel Iparon Wesakin. You know this is a ruler, this is pen, this is pencil, this is knife. To whom does a pen or a writing utensil, a ruler, a pencil and a knife belong? Le is hak hakatan or hak if you get rid of that okay so it belongs to so this literal means to Isaac the small okay now let's see the English ones let's see if we can translate a few of these now the aunts are old and good okay let's do this way had dozof Zekenof Wetovof And the old uncles are also good. Weram Had dozim Hazikanim Um Tovim Now I usually put him or um there's usually a um pronoun towards the end when I speak, okay? Not all the time. Had dozos the the Aunts are old. The aunts are old and good. And the old uncles, Wacham had dozim hazekanim. Notice how how I have it here, hazekanim. I don't have had dozos hazekanos. Okay, I have had dozos zekanos which means the aunts are old and good and also and yet or as well the uncles the old ones the old uncles are good now him is like a punctuation for but uh, sometimes okay it's just to also make certain sen um, sentences or phrases less um, ambiguous okay we'll get into this a little later okay you don't need to put this right now let's do another one the small pupils are good 
התלמידים התלמידים הקטנים התלמידים הקטנים This is another way of writing it, okay? התלמידים הקטנים גם טובים הם, אוקיי? Okay? Usually you'll say גם התלמידים הקטנים טובים הם או that אוקיי? אז זה רואה. התלמידים הקטנים רם טובים. גם is never used at the end. At least I've never heard anyone say it. Uh, usually, you know, in conversation we speak differently than how we write. אוקיי? So, let's do another one here. And the big ones, how would you say that? You say, we ha-gezolim? We ha-gezolim? That's the big ones. The small ones, ha-ketanim? We ha-gezolim? The big ones, you say, ha-gezolim? רעים הם, או אל תהיה רעים הם, ויוד לסי רעים. הגזולים רעים. And I use this, you don't need to. Um, now what's taught is this way. Okay, הגזולים הם רעים. It's not classical really. Not, not all the times you'll see this this way, okay? Of course, when in speech and conversation, you tend to mix things up and we understand each other. But structurally, when it comes to um, grammar, written, it's usually written this, this way here. Sometimes like this, okay? Let's see another one. These good and clever boys are brothers of the little clever Sarah. Now we had this, remember, with Sipora? Have we had it? So these good and clever boys, how would we say that? Hanne'arim Hattovim Wehahachamim Brothers, Ahim, Le Sarah, Ha Ha Cham. Is that little? Oh, okay, little clever Sarah. So, Ha Ketana. Let's use another place here. There we go. הנערים הטובים והחכמים אחים לשרה, הקטנה והחכמה. אוקיי? הנערים הטובים והחכמים אחים. So the... לשרה... to... הקטנה והחכמה. Okay. Now this is loose translation. That's why the of is here. Um, again, you can translate things one to one when you're translating to other people. When you speak another language, you, it's more or less one to one. You already know what's being said. Okay. I hope this isn't chicken scratch right here. Let me see if I could do a better job. Uh, yeah, but this is 
huge. Hani Arin. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. Uh, not a good idea. Okay, let's try again. Um, draw something else instead. Uh, okay. Let's see what we have here. Gampo Ramsham. Okay, let's see what's that about. Okay, the small boys are good pupils here as well as there. Ah, uh, okay. Hanne Arin, Hanne Arin, right? Haketanim. Talmidzim. So I'm going to read the Ketanim Talmidim Rampo Ramsham. Okay. The boys, the small ones, are students or pupils. I don't say people. Um, also here, also there. Okay. As well as will be. Ram and then you have one noun and then Ram and then you have another. Or if you have a um adverb, okay? Let's see what else could we do here? Oh that's it. So there's more here but you guys can do that on your own in order to become more fortified in knowledge okay and then next week or maybe later this week I'll be getting into this okay and of course some of these have changed Mahmerith didn't mean this in classical Hebrew it's hard to translate this from the mm, with these sentences um, as what it meant in classical Hebrew so it's fine for now this is no this is not um, somewhat somewhat okay and these have changed okay a bit a bit okay a bit this has more than one meaning as well it can mean something more poetic blah blah anyway I don't wanna <laughs> burden you guys okay so I hope that you guys do well and study 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 Shalom Shalom